Hi, this is Mario from CurrencyBuilders.com. I often hear this question from people you know, who are just getting exposed to cyber currency or even the Bitcoin phenomenon. You know, why are there only 21 million Bitcoins, you know, mined or, or permitted to be mined? You know, why is there a cap on the, uh, the amount of cyber currency that was produced by uh, Satoshi Noki, I think that's his name, like nine years ago over there in Japan and Mt. Gox and the trading platform, etc. Why, why was there a limited amount of coin? If this Bitcoin cyber currency explosion is such a great thing, there's 7.2 billion people on the earth. Why did you limit this thing, Mr. Noki, to, to only 21 million? Well, I'll tell you why. This is my, my, my take on it, because I think he was a man of integrity. I think that he knew that the current economic crisis where the whole world is groaning you know, economically, where every country is in debt, every municipality is going broke, everyone is scrambling to find out how they're gonna pay the next month's uh, you know, interest bill and taxes, insurance, mortgages and interest, is because of the deflation of all the currencies, including the dollar, the world's leader in, in deflation. They knew, the Japanese and Mr. Satoshi over there knew that if they limited the Bitcoin to X amount, 21 million call it, they knew that they couldn't continue to print or fictitiously manufacture a currency that ultimately would turn out to be, you know, a, a currency from Weimar, Germany, 1933, or the Zimbabwe currency of Africa in the late 90s, early 2000s. You know, they did that for a reason, to maintain the value of that currency. You remember, what determines value? Scarcity determines value. If there's an abundancy of something and it's on every street corner, under every mattress, in everyone's pocket, it's worthless or worth very little. If it's rarer or limited, you know, uh, it's gonna be worth more. And it can, it can be controlled, it can be um, deliberately monitored and you can see how many coins are in the so-called global index of cyber currency and therefore it has a set value and supply and demand will now take a true, uh, true presence in the marketplace and a true realistic uh, balance of weights and, and measures and honest scales can be performed in this market that's determined by we the people globally that cyber currency you know, internet platform community can now say we have just money. That's why I believe there's only 21 million uh, Bitcoins being performed or, or, or uh, you know, manufactured. And there's five, five million left to produce. And it's getting harder and harder. If you understand the algorithm process of uh, you know, uh, crypt, cryptocurrency uh, hash uh, technology or protocol, you understand that now it is getting harder and harder to mine those remaining five million, therefore upping the value of the existing ones in the marketplace instead of flooding it with fiat worthless currency that can be printed on the back of toilet paper and reduced to ashes by the people at the top. Thank you, uh, Mr. Noki or Ms. Satoshi Noki for, for doing the world uh, a, a just service. So that's, that's why there's 21 million limited. But there's a lot of other cyber currencies coming down the road that will help the rest of the 7.2 billion people on the planet fix this availability problem. Hope you understand a little bit of this or you want more information about how it can change your life. Give me a call at the number on the screen or go to my website, you know, currencybuilders.com and we can talk uh, and, and get more information on how to change your economic future. Hope you're having a great day.